Hey, this is Key Innes, and um, I'm going to give you guys a, another um, drawing tip um, from uh, my YouTube channel here. Um, today, I, I want to talk about like drawing uh, cartoonish style characters, uh, particularly um, like American animation um, uh, cartoon characters, kind of stuff like you might see like in Disney and, and stuff like that. Um, Generally, you know, um, I try not to, to draw in this kind of style as much as I love it. And actually, it's, it's kind of a style that I, I tend to, to gravitate towards naturally. I try to stay away from it um, because it's very easy to like to fall into. Um, it's f easy to, to fall into uh, the trap of like drawing in a, in a certain kind of formula. And it's not really drawing. It's, it's it's almost like you're you're it's almost like like you're 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 drawing by by pattern, um, as opposed to like really understanding like what um, what the subject matter is or what the figure is is all about. Um, if you probably can see here, I, I have uh, some some drawings here that are kind of cartoonish. I think I have some some cartoon girls here, and uh, I have some some Disney style characters here that I was, I was messing around with and um, you know that's it's fun it's, it's a lot of fun to, to draw this kind of stuff but I think it's really better to, to, to get into the habit of like doing as much like life drawing as possible um, that's really going to be the stuff that's really going to be the the foundation upon which like you can draw anything um, so I always remember this 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 great story about Richard Williams you know who uh, the, the great uh, animation director Richard Williams who was very good at drawing uh, Disney characters and um, when he was very very young he went to the Disney studio looking for a job and he had this whole portfolio of uh, these really great looking like Disney style characters and um, and the uh, I, f I forget who, who the guy's name was but the person who was in in, in charge of uh, uh, reviewing people's portfolios, he, he said, um, "Hey, you know, this is nice, but you should learn how to draw." Um, so, you know, meaning that not how to draw in a particular kind of style or formula, but really understanding drawing. So, anyway, you know, th th these are some some sketches from from a, from a life drawing class that I, that I that I did uh, yesterday, um, and. Yeah, you know, look, you know, it's 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 really really important to do as much as much life drawing as possible, because that's really gonna really gonna support you. So, but that being said, today we're gonna have some fun and we're, we're gonna we're gonna draw some uh, some animation style characters. Okay, uh, what I'm drawing with today, I'm just drawing with a uh, with a, a black wing pencil here. It doesn't really matter. I think if you guys are just working with a a regular number two pencil or something like that. That's just just fine. Um, now, before I I jump into um, uh, drawing here, there are a couple of points I, I wanted to uh, make a suggestion about in terms of what the what I like to keep in mind about like when I draw. Um, one of the things that always supports me in terms of like like where okay like where do we start? Where do we start with? And um, one thing and I've done this in, in other videos before um, which is starting with um, the torso and the, the torso is is great um, as a good place to start because that's where you see like what the center of bat the center of, of the body is in animation they have this kind of um, uh, this rig or whatever um, as a kind of a tool to represent the the human torso which they, they call like the flower sack and the flower sack um, basically um, is really a stand-in for like what the human torso is because like a flower sack or a rice or a rice bag or something like that um, it's basically you have a lot of weight divided in, into two two parts and the great thing about it, like when you th when you think about that, um, you can mm, you can feel like a sense of like weight coming down here, and then like a weight kind of like 
yeah it's sitting up top and kind of like wanting to like fall over going over this way actually and that's how you get like this this sensation of of, of weight so um, so that's one of the things I, I like to use you know when I'm getting ready to draw um, these kinds of characters we just like to use like the flower sack because there, there's so many things um, that we can use to create the kinds of um, feelings of, of, of weight or, or of, of movement or twisting and things like that. So the flower sack is, is always a good way, good way to start. So today I'm going um, to today I'm going to get down into drawing um, some characters from a movie called uh, Bed and Hobbs and Broomsticks. It's a, it's an old uh, Disney film and I think no one is going to um, complain or send me to jail if, if I draw some characters from from this <laughs> obscure movie but they have some some really nice uh, character designs in here that I thought would be good to uh, to work with so I'm just gonna, just gonna jump into it one of the things okay let, let, let me start with um, let's say with uh, with like let's say heads and faces and things things like that okay one of the things that um, I'd like to start off with it's just basically like starting with like kind of a um, like a spherical shape here and you notice that um, again I, I say it's a sphere because it's 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 three it's three-dimensional basically and if I have that I have a, a pretty good idea of like you know this is a side this is a side like this is the top and like and this is the bottom so if I have that you know I have a, a an idea of this object like being in in space right not just being flat and that that's that's another thing you want to always keep in mind like you don't want to draw in mind with things being like just like flat on the page we're not just we're not writing um, we're not writing uh, characters here in terms of like like alphabetic characters or whatever right which are basically just like icons you know we we are trying to get a sense of like a three-dimensional space here um when i start breaking things down i try to make things as um as simple as popular possible like like large shapes here so i'm drawing this this <coughs> excuse me i'm drawing this elephant here and he has like this large trunk you know that's overlapping his face here another thing you might want to keep in mind here too is um, I'm trying to get like this sense of a rhythm here so that's another thing you always want to try to keep in mind like when when you when you draw um um you you know you you don't you don't want things like to get like straight you know un unless like you you're drawing like a structure or something like that or something that is very hard or something like that otherwise you know you're always going to look for like certain like rhythms everything that's organic is going to have a rhythm to it um in terms of like no, actually, I already pretty got most of my elephant here. All I gotta do is basically I gotta like drop in the ears like this. Okay, and I'll drop in another pair of ears here like that. Now it's kind of interesting, even though I haven't finished anything here. I think we have a sense of this being um, an elephant. You know, if I didn't, if I didn't. Um, tell you exactly what what this what this was. You would be probably you know you most likely you'd be prone to say that well most likely it's it's it's, gonna, it's an elephant or some kind of elephant creature or something like that. Um, so you know, what I when I I think about the you know the the old guys who were drawing and designing at Disney, you know you really had to think 
you have to really consider these, these guys were 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 drawing um um thousands and and thousands of drawings um per per movie and while these guys are were they were extremely talented um extremely extremely talented um they were human like 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 all of us and quite frankly you know they um they they had they had they had to meet deadlines. I mean, like, you know, all all the artistic stuff is is n nice and good, but you have the 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 reality of of production. So um, what I'm saying is that they designed these characters to be uh, reproduced as simply and as quickly as possible. So um, while it, it has the illusion of like you know, there's there's um, um, a lot going on here, quite frankly, a lot of the the, the designs that you see in these characters are, are quite are quite simple, really, um, and they 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 need they need to be simple because um, you know they 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 can't. You know they they don't have the time to be to be um, um, laboring over um, um, over a single drawing. Um, you know these these things had had to be produced um, quickly and as um, effectively as possible. So. Um, One of the things that you're gonna notice a lot in in um, really good design for um, for animated characters is like there's gonna be a, a lot of like overlap. They're gonna use overlap a lot, and overlap is a is a is basically you know when you have like one form um, basically in front of another form in front of another form like that and it creates this illusion of of space and depth it's, an, it's another it's another way like to get a sense of perspective and um as simple as that that is um it is very 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 powerful it's very very powerful um so overlap is you know one of the things you should be keeping in mind um when um you're you're drawing um, actually, when you're drawing anything, really, um, you know, overlap um, is um, is very, 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 very useful. And um, actually, and you know, whether you're drawing cartoon characters or if you're drawing, um, you know, something like realistic, it's something that that you definitely want to use. Okay, like here, you know. There's a little bit of like okay, like here in, in his ear. Like you see that right here? That that little T that that I did, you know, that's like creating like an, an a, a sensation of a of an overlapping form here, like which is like the fold in, in, in his ear. Right. So by the way, you might notice that, you know, I'm not I'm not erasing that much okay um, I might erase on on occasion but you know I, I'm not you know I'm, I'm not erasing uh, all the time here now my, my point is that if you find yourself erasing um, a lot you might want to change um, your approach towards the drawing, because obviously, um, you're you, you don't really have a, a sense of of what's going on with the drawing, and it's and it's a, it's, a, it's a sign that you know, that you're not really confident of what's happening. Um, 
and look, I mean, uh, I, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it it does take some time to to develop confidence. Um, so you have to practice. You know, you have to be willing to make mistakes and things like that. But but generally, um, you know, uh, you want to take things easy. Okay. And you want to draw a life. So, so actually, I think if you notice the way I started this drawing, pretty pretty much, it I started off like f f fairly fairly light, and I, I I worked my 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 way into it, like you know, so slowly build, building it up, building it up, building it up. Okay, you know, I, I kind of did myself in by positioning this poor elephant in a in a in a bad, in a bad position um, but but I, I think uh, we, we get the idea of what what's happening here okay never yeah never never draw you know unnecessarily hard or um you know don't don't be like overly committed in in your in your in your first draw in the first lay in for for your drawing because you want to give yourself the the freedom to 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 make changes if if possible um another reason why i i picked this this elephant because elephants have like a lot of like nice folds and things like that and it's one of the reasons why I wanted also want to talk about like uh, overlap in your drawing, because it always gives this sense of of um, of depth and perspective. Um, so this. This guy's wearing a baseball cap here. So, like here, here, here's a straight. Here I have a straight because it's you know it's a baseball cap. But generally, most most things I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw here are, are gonna be um, kind of curved. Okay, is it a baseball cap or is he a? Uh, is it, I think actually I think I think it's a. I think it's a soccer cap or something like that I think because I again I'm, I'm taking this drawing from bed knobs and broomsticks and then there's 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 a scene in there where the, the, the these um, these characters are um, are playing a soccer game okay so we have this elephant here I guess he's a goalie or something like that So, so even though I, I'm not finishing it here, but you know I can make that a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Um, I'll, I'll say it again. You know, you guys really should do like as as much life drawing as possible, because you know that's going to form your your understanding. For the for the stuff when you like you want to do some some fun stuff and you want to like design something, um, yeah, you know, like like a like a cartoon elephant. <laughs> okay, uh, here I am. I'm letting you guys not about not not erasing, but I confess. Uh, you know, I, wasn't really paying attention when I was laying in this this arm here. Again, the the, the point is that you know you, you again you know I see if if I if I drew this in a in a too committed way I, I would have been kind of um, I would I would I would have been screwed because I wouldn't have the chance I wouldn't have the ability to to make these adjustments you know. There we go. Okay. 
so you know his arm is, is going away in, in, in perspective okay and there it is okay there's 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 our, our cartoon elephant okay now um, I, I, pro I might show the um, the elephant that, I, that I'm, I'm drawing from and you, you'll see like there, there's some 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 differences um, in between uh, this elephant and the one that I'm, I'm referencing from um, as a rule you know when you when you if you're gonna do a study um, I highly recommend like not to copy you know um, you, you you want to capture what what the drawing is what the drawing is is about you don't want to just copy the drawing because if you just copy the drawing what you what you're gonna get is um, a um, um, a, a stiff-looking reproduction um, of somebody else's work, and um, you know what you want to do when when you when you're drawing, you want to you want to replicate or capture the things like what makes it work, what's making this drawing work, or or you know why 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 is this this drawing um, um, appealing or, or or whatever, right? And um, uh, you know you you you, ha you have to capture that um, now here yeah like here like this this fold in the elephant actually is a little bit different from um, the actual the actual drawing because this makes a, a better sense see, see if I was to copy it exactly the way the way it is um, I don't think it's it, it's gonna work um, it's, it's gonna start it's gonna look kind of funny um, look this there, I mean there's there's a time you know, when when you do need to copy you know in your in, you know in I mean may, may, maybe you know you're um, you're doing it for a specific purpose but if you're doing it you know for for learning whatever yeah you want to understand the drawing you don't want to copy it you do not want to copy it you know and um, it, it, it takes a little bit of time to, to understand what that that's about um, but but basically what I what I've done here you know I I've I've gone after capturing like what makes what makes this this drawing work and what makes it work you know are the um, um, are the folds in this in this elephant All right see that uh, what makes it work is the um, the overlap um, in his trunk okay. and actually you know what I made a mistake because actually see yeah overlap is good but sometimes and here, here, here's here's a little tip for you guys in terms of um, drawing. Um, these guys at Disney were very, very smart in the, I mean, in terms of the way the way they designed the characters. Now, you know, a lesser person might design a trunk like this, boom, 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 boom which which is what I did. Just just a moment ago. Okay, and there's 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 that. Now, while that that does say while that does say trunk, there's a problem here because you know every time you draw, you're you're creating a um, an experience for for your audience, and so basically, you know, if if I if I do this right, your eyes are going to naturally are going to go fump like that. If I do da 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 like that, obviously your eyes are going to 
it's going to feel sharper and more violent, right? The same thing plays in terms of how you draw. Um, so when, when, you, when you're drawing, when you're designing your characters, even though we do kind of imagine like the trunk having like these kind of like these these raised points um, because as like like one section like fits into another section there's a problem because our eyes as we as we as we look at it our eyes are going to go bump 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 so our eyes slow down as we're as we're moving over this form and you and I don't want that you know I don't I don't want I don't want at least you know, right now I don't want it. Maybe there are times when maybe you're designing a monster or something like that and you want your audience to like to spend time like, oh my god, like look at all that texture. Oh my god, like you know, look look at all those things that are that are raised up and stuff like that. And that's fine, you know, but you know, here like you know, we have this 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 um uh sporty looking <laughs> this sporty looking uh elephant here. And you know, I I don't want people to to slow down. Um, I do want them to have the sensation that yeah, you know, obviously they're folds and things like that. But you know, I've and actually yeah, the 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 way it's originally originally designed, um, this is just a this is just an S curve, right? It's just an S curve. So basically, you know, the audience the audience's eye does not stop on any points here every time every depression you can see here that is a stop point and it slows us down but if you have like like that then your eyes your eyes will, will sweep across it now here like up in the in the nose like in the like in the, the corner of his nose where, it, where he's crinkling it's okay that's fine because that's because here is a point of tension and that's fine so it's okay because his eyes are going down so you want his eyes to you know to crinkle up like like that but it's going to crinkle up and then it boom, then it it sweeps out over here like that so these these are things um um that you know you, you should really keep in mind you know when, when you when you're drawing the characters or at least like i said there's a reason why you don't want to copy because you really want to understand why the artists made certain decisions when when they designed this character. What it, what is what is what is the effect that um, that they were getting um, as we're drawing this character? Like you know what is what is what is the, the the feeling or the experience we're feeling like as we're looking at, at the character? Um, you can feel that you know this character has a sense of weight, obviously, because you know because of the large forms. And you get the experience that, um, yes, you know, the, it, it is a large character with like loose skin, loose folds, and things like that. However, you know, because of the way I've I've angled him, and I, the way I've designed this trunk, because actually there's another experience of how it's composed. You know, he's leading forward, and this is going forward like that. There's something kind of sporty or fast about it. You know, this this does not look like like a like a slow elephant, right? So these are all the things that really should should inform your your um your work like as 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 you're drawing all these all these things in the end they 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 will um they will have a definite impact um on on your audience as as, you, as you're drawing okay okay guys all right so I'm going to leave it at that I want to I want to keep it simple and I'll I'll come back you know, maybe in a little while if um if if folks like like this video then you know I'll I'll do more I'll just basically I'll just do what I like doing which is drawing <laughs> and and um talk you through what my journal process was so anyway this was a, this was a lot of fun for me um it was nice it was nice to do this and um I'll, I'll come back again again if if you, if you like it um please let me know and um yeah, why well, you know? Why don't you do me a favor and um, you know give me a like for this if 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 it was helpful. Leave me a comment and of course you know, you know subscribe. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye bye.